Hi there, welcome to Life by Randy. I want to share tonight about the word change, the concept of change. The other day I was doing the classic Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation, one of his originals from Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One. And in that classic meditation, he takes us through pulling the mind out of the body and then focusing on an aspect of us that we want to change. And then we go ahead and we rehearse that aspect and how it makes us feel and what we want to change. And then we say change. In so doing, we are hardwiring or rewiring the circuits in our brain and we are creating new neural pathways for new experiences because so many of us have been trained to live our lives unconsciously going through the same old routine right over and over there have been many times where i just get on the highway and before you know it i i'm getting off at an exit and thinking i wanted to go the other way but I was so used to, by habit, going a certain way that I went unconscious. And so often we live our lives unconsciously. On the other hand, so many of us have such a difficult time with change. And I recently went through a change. I had a big move. Um, I love my city of origin and uh, I loved my network and I loved my life there. And I happened to fall in love with a man from another city, although in the state of Ohio. But the time came, the time came for me to change. And I knew it. There's always the hand of providence working in our lives. And when that hand of providence moves in a way that is unmistakable, right? Change occurs. And so I heard that still small voice that was pretty directive for me last August, August of 2022, to put my Cleveland home on the market. Well, I called a realtor friend and within four hours, the house was sold and it was an offer we couldn't refuse. And the new owner loves the home, knows that the home has been very prayed in and prayed up, felt the energy in the home, felt the spirit of God in the home, and really was blessed by even uh, my study where my husband and I spent five months where he never left my side. Uh, as I was recovering from stage four metastatic breast cancer. And that's part of my story on lifebyrandy.com if you're not familiar with it. And so it was such a blessing to hand it off to someone who uh, will it, it is enjoying the home, who gets the home, who gets the spirit of the home and all the beautiful hospitalities and the wonderful memories. But I had to dismantle my life from August of last year uh, for a number of months and leave the club that I was attached to and leave a life that, that I loved, but it was time because it was a season and that season was over. Seasons change and we have to know when the time is up and when the time is to change. Even though it's difficult, I cried. I, I, I as I was dismantling my life there, but there are so many blessings having done that. And I know I'm just beginning to experience those blessings from hearing and heeding what Providence was asking of me, directing me to do for my greatest, highest good and the good of all concerned, right? So I moved and I did not move to Columbus but we're fortunate to have a vacation home in Lakeside Chautauqua, not the New York Chautauqua, but the Lakeside Chautauqua. And uh, my husband's had this home for over 30 years. The, I'm getting plugged in to new people, new networks, and new ways of doing things. 
And so I tell you that because I am going to introduce you in an upcoming video to Dr. Elizabeth LaFay of Elite Healthcare in Sandusky, Ohio. So you see, since leaving the Cleveland area and moving to the 419 area, I discovered a doctor and her team that is completely in line with the way I see and envision healthcare going forward. And so if you've known me and listened to some of my videos, you know that I healed from cancer with uh, unconventional means outside of the traditional Western medicine model. And I found a place in Sandusky, Ohio, who treats the mind, body, and soul in a holistic way, in a nutritionally sound way, and who deploys energy medicine techniques as well. So if you're going through change, which we all have, the world, I swear, has gone mad. What I see is a dismantling of this matrix system, of all the systems from political, educational, financial, when we're going to more communities and local communities. And that's what I feel here in this Lakeside Chautauqua that I was called to move to. And I will be exploring with you and sharing more with you as the months roll on. But I did have to take some time out and to dismantle a life that I had and a life that I loved for a place where I was uncertain of, but I knew I was called to. And I'm just beginning to see the richness of all those blessings. Please allow this video to encourage you and take that leap of change, to embrace the change, to celebrate what was, but also to embrace the now and the newness of what lies ahead. We're all being called to make changes and to embrace the new. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, in gratitude, in change, and in joy. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace.